Yo, what up? This your boy Chris Part No Seven Seven Three. I ain't gonna stay too long with the intro, but this daylight, a battle rapper, well known battle rap legend out of California. He's dropping real gems, talking about uh, stuff that should be known. You know, expand your horizon. Don't just stick to one environment and travel see the world and then he's also cracking jokes about some of the stuff in the history books it's pretty funny y'all go and check him out and then he making announcements too i'm out drop a like comment share and subscribe peace they not talking about drama they go watch bad girls club or or some tv show that's full of drama like what was it ricky lake and all that shit jerry springer and all that shit before it was bad girls club like it's just drama everything about their life is drama and they don't even have enough brain space to find new concepts to even get themselves out of the slums the average person don't even know like if you really want to leave the the bottom and this goes for like california right like i don't, I don't really know the other neighborhoods but like my nigga, like if you really want to leave the hood, like real bad, right? And you like your house fucked up, like everything fucked up. Man, you could go buy a tent for for $27. A high quality rainproof tent for $27 and go get on the bus for about an extra five to ten dollars and go take your ass to the beach. You can live in Huntington Beach, Manhattan Beach, Venice Beach. You can live there for free. But nope, you like seeing the bullshit. You like seeing the hood. You like seeing the trash. You like seeing the homeless niggas. You like seeing other niggas struggling. You like seeing everybody struggling. You like seeing the birds sad. You just like sadness. Nah, man. Look, if you want to better your life, you can't be afraid to see other shit, man. Can't be afraid. Can't be afraid to see other shit, man. Can't be afraid to go in the library and go down that aisle with them big ass books with the letters on it. You don't know what the shit that, what the fuck the motherfuckers say. Hey man, go down there and pick one of the motherfuckers up. Start reading. You're going to find out there. The Pantheons of Otakamas. Oh God, you going, man. I ain't going to lie, man. I used to go to the library and read some of them big ass uh, motherfucking National Geographic books. Boy, I done learned about so much shit back in the days. The great Isalius conquered the Netherlands in 1724. I'm like, what the fuck? Man, the books be the greatest movies ever. Sir, Sir Jonathan the 30th killed 70 trillion. 70 trillion soldiers. Like, what? By, his, by himself. Oh, God. I ain't gonna lie, man. No disrespect to the white people, but y'all be exaggerating. I love y'all. Y'all my people to the devil. Y'all be exaggerating these history books, my G. They gonna tell me Achilles can only die if you hit him in the key, in the hill. Oh hell. So what if you fight the nigga on the hill? Can you kill him then? They both called hill. Hell hill. If you fight Achilles on top of a hill, is he weaker? Uh, hey, don't fuck with the lyricist, boy. We gonna break the matrix. that nigga on the hill but no man hey, man history books is a, I ain't gonna lie I'm addicted to reading history books man they be saying all type of stupid shit nigga gonna tell me you know what the craziest shit they ever told me in the history books they brought slaves from Africa on the boat that's the craziest shit they ever told me cause I ain't gonna lie man I flew to Africa man that shit took so long to fly to Africa and we was flying at like 800 miles per hour that shit still took about 20 hours. Oh, God. So you mean to tell me niggas was in the boat, not even going, not even going miles per hour. They was going notches, like 10 knots per hour. Man, them niggas was moving. Them niggas was driving two miles per hour to Africa. Oh, hell no, man. They never got there, ever. I'm not buying it. Ain't no way, G. Ain't no.
no way. Nope. Sorry. Lies. Niggas was niggas was roll, roll, roll your boat all the way from London to Africa. Oh hell no. And then they like niggas went two, three or four times. Yeah, when uh, Christopher Columbus went on multiple ex- excavations, like, hell, he went back to Europe and talked to the, and then came to the Americas, then went back to Africa. In a row, 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 you boat, you was, you were doing all that row, rowing. Oh hell no. See, man, if you look, man, if you really just read this shit with your own mouth. And like say it out loud. You can't just read it from the perspective of um just read this in my mind because I'm in the library. No, you gotta read this shit out loud and like let your ears hear your mouth. Christopher Columbus went to back to the Queen of England, then from the Queen of England to the Americas, back from the Americas to Africa, back from Africa, back to the Americas, then back to the Queen of England in London in the in the motherfucking uh, canoe? Oh, fuck no. I'm not buying it, G. Hell no, man. You ain't about to tell me a nigga was... If niggas was traveling like that in the canoe, what the fuck am I buying plane tickets for? Man, I'm about to... Man, fuck all that, man. I'm about to go get me a little boat, bitch. I think Africa around the corner. Tell me he went to motherfucking London and back to Africa in a boat. Yeah, you niggas gotta be fucked up. That's why I ain't gonna lie, I'm trying to get famous enough so I can write my own history book. I think history books need to be rewritten. You know what we gotta take out the history books? 69 and you know we can't do that no more. Kendrick said that shit freaky. Freaky ass, yeah, 69 car. Hey, 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 hey. Come on, y'all lie. Yeah, we can't do 69s no more. We gotta take that out the freaky book. Ah. Oh, well, well, well. But no, man, you just gotta start looking at different shit, man. I remember one time, man, like in the hood, man, I was in the middle of the hood, man. I used to look at the clouds like a lot, man. I used to look up in the clouds. And I was like, man, like what the fuck is up there? Then I got like addicted to like looking at the stars and shit. I used to always look at the stars. Like, you know, I used to try to find like the constellations, like the Milky Ways, you know, uh, like Tauruses and all that shit. I used to find that shit. Like, I'm like, oh, there's the Milky Way right there. There's the Taurus right there. There's the Leo right there. Like, so I used to find like the zodiac signs up there, man. And, um, you know, I just just look at like hella stars, bro. Like hella fucking stars. I was I'm addicted to like space shit. Like I, I go to the Griffith Park Observatory maybe like two three times a month. Like I'm I'm addicted to space shit. Like I just love space because my mind is like, yo, what the fuck is up there, man? Like what's really up there? So just in the hood, like I I used to look at different shit, man. Like that was my my runaway. Like when. Whenever, like, shit happened in the house or, you know, like, something bothered me, I would just go outside, climb to the top of the tree, nigga, and just look at the sky, like, like, yo, we really just little fucking spectacles on this planet, just walking around, doing stuff. Like, what the fuck do it mean? And from there, like, I started, you know, chasing life. Like, all right, I'm, at the time, I was probably, like, 15, 16, probably less than that, you know, I'm in the tree, like, yo, what I'm gonna do when I get 18, what I'm gonna do when I get 21, what am I, what I'm, what I'm gonna do when I get 22, and like, I, I used to think like that, and what I started doing was going to find the things that I need to do to break this cycle, I can honestly say, though, the only thing that took me this long to, like, break it, it's because I spent a lot of my years helping other people. Like, I spent a lot of my years trying to make people see that there was a way out. Which, 
I wouldn't say I regret, but damn, that was a waste of fucking time. It was a super waste of time. But I still love him, though. I still love everybody, though. There's no hard feelings to nothing. But again, so again, like, I see a lot of people who are vegans. Like, they vegans or they, like, real health people. And they be like, yo, I eat, I only eat fruits and veggies. And I only eat this and I only eat that. And they oppose some evil ass toxic shit like, oh, did you see what happened with so and so? They had a fight. Like, if you a vegan, you can't you can't even watch none of that shit because that, all of that shit is contradictory to like your health. So you know, one of the homegirls is like, well, you know, I'm 100 percent vegan. I'm like, no, you're not. She like, yo, I don't eat this, I don't eat that. And I'm like, you watch this and you watch that and you watch this and you watch that. Your brain itself will form your body into like whatever it needs to be for the sake of that scenario. So, like, all you, all the stuff you put in your mind, like that, that's going. You might as well eat a double cheeseburger at this point. Like tomorrow, right? I'm going to see some shit. I had to, I had to go home. I had to make a fucking U-turn because I left something somewhere. Now I'm on my way back home. But I'm going to see some shit tomorrow. I'm going to go see some shit. And... Oh, never mind. I was about to give up too much, too much beans. give up all the beans you just might have to wait till tomorrow but just know this guys tomorrow y'all about to see me all over the internet just just be ready all right remember i said this tomorrow everywhere internet everywhere just remember that